So first of all, welcome to this uh, online courses about uh, WebAssembly security and more specifically uh, WebAssembly reverse engineering. So uh, the main idea uh, will be to understand what is WebAssembly. Uh, so that's the global summary of um, this uh, online courses. So the first thing we're going to discuss is the WebAssembly it himself. So what is WebAssembly? Uh, what are the different toolchains that uh, you will um, be able to use in order to compile some program into WebAssembly. Um, we're going to discuss about the WebAssembly VM architecture, so what is um, running WebAssembly module. We're going to discuss, of course, about web browsers, that is one kind of uh, WebAssembly VM, but we're also going to discuss about uh, like standalone VM and interpreter. Then we're going to discuss about the WebAssembly text format, that is um, an alternative, uh, like a way to represent a WebAssembly module. And the main advantages of this format, it's, um, it's like a textual format. So, and you can also switch from one to the other uh, pretty uh, easily. Then we're going to discuss about uh, how to do a debugging on WebAssembly module, uh, especially on web browser. And we're going to discuss about the WebAssembly uh, binary format uh, because there is some particularity and that will be something uh, interesting uh, for us. Uh, we're going to apply all um, what, we, what we have learned um, around all the beginning of these uh, courses uh, with some uh, exercises. And more specifically, it will be like a real life analysis of uh, browser um, add-ons, browser extension. Uh, we will analyze like, I don't know, five or six of them uh, with different kind of uh, methodology and so on. So that will be pretty um, like uh, really um, like uh, applicable uh, analysis. Then I'm going to discuss a bit more deeply about the uh, architecture, the IDSA um, and uh, the different um, opcodes and uh, instruction that uh, are present in WebAssembly. Uh, I'm going to discuss how to base on those um, opcodes or you can reconstruct the control flow graph uh, and um, make your analysis and your reverse engineering process more easier, of course. And uh, I will discuss some tools uh, available uh, in order to uh, simplify the reversing and the disassembly process uh, of a WebAssembly module. Um, Finally, I will discuss about control, uh, call flow graph and data flow graph that are two uh, techniques to graph uh, that will help your analysis. And um, starting from the from the ISA um, until uh, the end uh, for all, all this part, we're going to go through multiple CTF challenges, so capture the flag challenges. And the purpose will be to analyze some uh, WebAssembly module and find some uh, flags, understand the behavior of the WebAssembly module, and so on and so on. So um, I hope you will like it. I'm, I'm pretty sure you will definitely like it. And you will actually learn a lot of stuff and um, play with a different kind of tool in order to uh, go deeper and do the complete reverse engineering on this part. So um, see you in the next part. That will be the introduction to WebAssembly.